we have enterprise resource planning systems uh, which integrate the business management software systems that are able to efficiently collect store manage and interpret data and information from a wide variety of different business processes these include financial management accounting human resource allocation manufacturing and distribution operations we have also the supply chain management system which inter-organizational system that can help a business execute a supply chain trans transactions and operations it also track inventory and manage supply relationships more effectively and productive productively the key objective of uh, supply chain management system is to enable businesses to efficiently track the flow of goods and services from suppliers to customers supply chain management systems can also automatically track when raw materials are required and send orders to suppliers autonomously next we have the customer relationship management or the crm systems uh, it is a software which can help your business to collect record and display customer data and information in a more systematic productive and uh, methodical way it can also further analyze these statistics to draw valuable insights which can help your business improve customer relationships and overall consumer engagement studies have shown that uh, crm systems can increase the businesses overall sales productivity by 34 percent so we have also here the the knowledge management systems a knowledge management system can store and retrieve large amounts of knowledge to be better perform organizational tasks they can also be used to improve uh, customer service drastically 93 percent of customers are likely to make a repeated purchase with a company if they provide provide excellent customer service in a knowledge management system can use its vast knowledge database to automatically answer customer queries in real time this will help improve your overall organizational productivity as a sales representatives can then uh, use their time working on a higher level tasks instead of producing repetitive responses to customer challenges the last but not the least is the e-commerce an e-commerce platform is a software that enables purchasing and selling over the internet it allows sellers to manage virtual assets digital sales and marketing in one central platform there are multiple types of e-commerce platform solutions and each type has unique benefits and advantages we have the mobile erp it's an erp solution designed for mobile devices such as ios and android tablets or smartphones users access the mobile platform over the internet using either either a dedicated mobile app or a standard mobile browser with the mobile erp the staff can create access and share business data in real time through the use of mo mobile devices these solutions provide this level of access without the costly investment or the need to make any significant changes to your infrastructures next we have a cloud erp uh, or software as a service based erp it is built and maintained by a software vendor in its own data center and delivered to customers over the internet usually on a subscription basis a critical part of a cloud erp system is a shared data model that provides one system of record for orders customers inventory and other vital data feeding the business then we have the social erp social erp systems are very different from traditional erp systems integrating an erp software with the social media tools like twitter linkedin and facebook are known as social erp system Social, social media has a tremendous capability for increasing employee productivity and improving communication among partners, consumers, and employees. Basically, social ERP applications mirror the functionality of online social networking tools. Their integration will use social web tools to assist customers, employees, vendors, and partners to work with each other in order to create easy and quick communication.
In this way, it, hel it will help employees in solving business problems effectively. Then we have the two-tier ERP. It is an approach to enterprise resource planning technology that uses two, way, two systems to address the needs of large businesses with multiple locations and or subsidiaries. Under this strat strategy, headquarters will use a tier 1 ERP that's highly customized and has the functionality to run a large global company well, while uh, sub subsidiaries or smaller business units use a less resource intensive which the tier 2 ERP that better suits their needs. With two tier ERP, the business integrates the two ERP systems so information automatically flows from tier 2 to tier 1. This allows for master data management or a single source of accurate data for the entire enterprise. Although the responsibilities of each system can vary, the tier 1 software often handles core business functions like finance, human, resource, human resources, and procurement. The tier 2 system manages activities like sales, marketing, or manufacturing processes that are more specific to each subsidiary or location. Then we have the Internet of Things integration. It, it allows for the connection of multiple devices, sensors, and machines, and facilitates the exchange, the exchange of information between these devices and machines. With an, with an ARP system, a user can access all connected devices without human interven intervention, allowing for faster business processes to better deal with anomalies, breaches, and other worrying situations. This is one of many approach when pairing Internet of Things and ERP solutions. As with many emerging technologies, the regulatory requirements can be confusing and not unclear considering how fast technology evolves. Firstly, we have the store business data in a usable format. One of the most important aspects of improve, improving the customer experience is having data stored in a way that can be easily analyzed. As the saying goes, what gets measured gets managed. And the same applies for business data. Some examples of data that should be stored include customer order history, when and, when and where they made those orders, and how long it took for those orders to be processed, a company's ability to quickly retrieve this type of information in order to answer customers' question can go a long way toward improving customer satisfaction. Next, we have to automate the automate the customer service process for employees. Using an enterprise resource planning or ERP system can be a major benefit of companies looking to streamline the customer service experience. ERP allows businesses to automate their customer service process, which helps ensure that each employee is giving customers a consistent experience and also ensuring that back office functions are as streamlined as possible. Automation saves time, which can then be used towards efforts to respond to customer requ requests for product. Cost to customer request for product information and to, to forecast or to forecast a new products. If employees are spending less time on tracking the customer's order, they can spend more time developing long-lasting profitable, profitable customer relationships. Next, we have the scale available resources. Or, or up and down as needed. One of the lesser known benefits of enterprise system is their ability to scale the IT capabilities of a business up or down as needed. This means that companies that need to store additional data or require access to, to, to additional processing power can get that excess capacity using cloud software as a service, as a service or an internet-based enterprise system instead of needing to invest in IT hardware. This also means that if less IT capabilities are needed for any reason, those same services can be scaled down. These flexible, these flexible solutions allow companies to control costs while continuing to meet their customers' needs. Then we have the maximize the reliability of IT infrastructures necessary for customer service. Another benefit of enterprise system is their increased reliability compared to small-scale IT solutions. This means that system will have greater uptime and little to no downtime, making sure IT systems are collecting data and operating properly. 
close to 100% of the time as possible is an essential part of a strong and consistent customer experience. Then we have the secure customer data. Over the past few years, we have seen a significantly increased number of security breaches into, into corporate servers. Large multinational corporations such as Home Depot, Target, Sony, and many others have seen their supposedly secure data centers breach, often as at the cost of the hundreds of millions or even billions of dollars. Securing customer data is not just imperative for good customer experience, it is an essential financial priority as well. Then we have the real-time access to information. Businesses or business environments are always changing and, and that means that waiting for waiting months for data is simply no longer feasible. Having access to real-time information about a business's operations is a powerful feature of enterprise systems. A high level of access to data allow, allows leadership to assess and improve upon the company's processes far more efficiently than, it, than if they have to wait months before having actionable data. And then we have the reduced cost of doing business. Enterprise systems ultimately reduce the cost of running a business, which means that the company will have more of its budget free to increase customer service capability, capabilities or invest in other assets that can improve the customer experience. One example is inventory control. As keeping too much or too little inventory can have significant effects on a, effect on a business's bottom line. Then we have the standardized process. One of the greatest challenges in large or one of the greatest challenges in larger enterprises is producing as consistently positive customer experience. One of the benefits that comprehensive and real-time data storage in conjunction with the use of ERPs provides provide is the ability to ensure standardization of the customer experience to a significantly greater degree than would otherwise be possible. And then we have the improved supply chain management. Enterprise systems can help streamline supply chain management in large part through the use of, of, of data about where, when, and how customers order and suppliers deliver. This, again, emphasizes the importance of storing business data in a usable format. Ultimately, the ability to streamline the supply chain means that products are delivered to customer more re reliably and at a lower cost than would otherwise be possible. Lastly, we have the ensure regulatory compliance. Regulation has long been a reality of business, but over the past several but over the past several years, regulations have become increasingly stringent and enforced. Regulations such as the, the Sarbanes-Oxley Act demand that investors receive a significant or investors receive a significant amount of data about companies' operations, including information about the properties, assets, and inventory management. One of the benefits of enterprise management system is that much of the data this regulation requires can be collected through automated means. Thus, enterprise systems can be used to ensure compliance with increasingly onerous federal regulations without taking personnel away from their essential customer service functions.